Well, I just got finished watching um series finale of Sons of Anarchy. It was quite an episode. Um, pretty sad it's over. I mean, that was one of my favorite shows on television. Um, well, there's a lot that happened in this episode. I'm gonna probably hit some spoilers here, so if you don't want to hear any spoilers, haven't seen it yet, don't watch the video. Um, <coughs> it was just the final bits of the, uh, you know, final piece of the puzzle coming together, I guess, for Jax and everybody. Um, yeah, so much happened. Um, <coughs> a lot of people popped up, you know, my, of course, Mayans, um, Niners, everybody, the Kings made, you know, the IRA Kings made appearance, um, what's his name from the docks, uh, Borowski or whatever, he was in there for a little bit, <coughs> when I say a little bit, it was more like five seconds, um, man, I'm not even sure where to start, I don't want to just go over everything, it take, take a while, but. Yeah, Jax got the his plan, I guess, wrapped up <coughs> to get <coughs> everything straight. Uh, burnt the pic pictures of the club and that <coughs> was it like that book his father had written about the club. So I guess it was kind of trying to end everything, but. Um, Cross got voted, and T.O. Cross from the other group. Can't. Uh, <coughs> yeah, they had, I think they wrapped up stuff with the. Uh, I don't know if they really wrapped it up, but. I guess for the series right now, IRA got wrapped up. Connor got wrapped up. Um. Looks like Chibs is going to be the president now. Um, they all voted, ended up voting, you know, the Mayhem vote. Um, what else? D.A. Patterson showed back up. <coughs> Looking for answers, you know. Jack's talked to her for a bit. Chibs talked to... Uh, girlfriend cop for a little bit um I don't want to really go over too much but it was I mean it was a really good episode I just hate the fact that it's over um they wrapped up most everything Marks got wrapped up the whole IRA thing kind of got tied together like I said um DA lady found out about uh Gemma with Gemma and Juice did and where they're at or where her and Hunter are at um, I was worried for a little bit that they were going to do I mean it seemed like it was going to be like a Dexter ending with what was happening with his kids and Wendy like she was going to take them away to the farm with Nero and then Jax was going to die and leave and pop up somewhere but I'm not really going to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. I kind of already did there. But. I mean you'll just have to watch the ending for yourself. I'm not going to say exactly what what happened. Um, got the, his dad's bike up and running. Took care of Borowski. <coughs> took care. Killed a bunch of people. And I wasn't sure how many people were going to die. It ended up being. Let's see. At least a few got uh, killed. More than I thought were gonna do um, get killed, but man, I guess they. Uh, I guess they ended it the way, in a way that would be good for his kids, because he didn't want the kids. Um, 
with his kids really knowing growing up living around him anymore um, <coughs> you almost thought you'd find out what the I mean, maybe I just kinda missed it but he talked he asked the uh, Jax asked the home, that homeless lady who she was she gave him her blanket for hiding kinda in plain sight and get the marks um for the may it is the mayhem vote and <coughs> I mean I'm not gonna tell you exactly how everything went down but it wasn't quite how I expected the stuff to go I, I mean the very end didn't really surprise me um I figured it was a good chance it might go down in some fashion like it did. Um, if I had any complaints, I would say it was some of the, a few of the things felt uh, rushed. Like, hadn't seen somebody for a few episodes, and all of a sudden they, they popped into the story for five ten seconds and all of a sudden it, it just was over like I kind of wish with the uh, episodes being as long as they were like with Marks and <coughs> Borowski since they were a big part of the season here and there more so Marks that they get a little more time to flush out the ends of their paths with uh, the Suns but it is what it is I guess that would, that would probably be my main complaint. A um, few people didn't really just get their, uh, their treatment outing ending that I wish they would have gotten. But I mean, it's hard to hard to um, argue with how it is. And I guess the only other thing <coughs> is yeah, the whole season was about the uh, revenge for Tara, Tara's murder and. Taking that revenge on everything and everybody. I wish that going back last season, they, um, you know, Clay, I wish that Clay lived and more of the Irish IRA had lived because I would have, I would have liked to seen a season finale, final season of kind of Jax and the Suns against Clay and. IRA kind of um, breaking away from Clay, trying to get the club straight, you know, and everything, and then end up butting heads with him at the with the end at the end of the whole uh, show. But I mean, this the way this season worked out went pretty well. Um, interesting to see if they, you know, do that uh, prequel. I think I read about a few times they might do it can't remember that'd be really interesting to see like the early days with clay and john teller and all that but we'll see if it happens um probably have to go back and watch this all again on netflix dvd or whatever because it was a really good show i feel like i probably could go back and pick up some stuff i missed but yeah definitely give this a go enjoy it while it's on and hopefully we'll get some more out of Sutter here sometime because he's a crazy guy. But that's it for Suns. Not going to spoil the ending, how it went down, but uh, that was a crazy episode, but good overall. Um, guess that's going to do it. I'll see y'all next time.